Hi, um, this is Linda here. I flew home yesterday evening from Minneapolis to Seattle. I was um, totally molested again, worse than ever. And they did make me go through the x-ray due to... There's a hype about... Uh, see, there's some crazy guy running around the airport named something Mohammed. Also, there was... Um, the Libya strike made the airport on high alert. Um, I confronted them about that and, and told them, oh dear, I don't want to get into it about how, you know, what the Al-Qaeda rebels that Hillary sent in where she was so giddy when Gaddafi got killed. Um, the old man was scratching his head. He didn't know what to do with me. Um, I don't even think I got the x-ray really because the thing spun around like a dental... Um, X-ray and mine didn't. I think after they had molested me in their little box and all that. And then I think they just made me stand there so the other sheeple would see that they were making comply. Because nothing spun around and I wouldn't open my eyes or comply by raising my arms. Um, now after that I went down to my flight. I was just thoroughly disgusted. Um, and I met somebody from the Ron Paul convention. He was a delegate, and he told me how bad that went, and what a disaster. Uh, and the propaganda, and how it was just the Delphi... Teleprompter gate. Yeah, it was teleprompter gate, and how the eyes on that thing, they you know, the teleprompter said eyes had it. And he said the overwhelming re response was the nays. He said it was a roar that you'd never heard. They also replaced Ron Paul signs, I guess, with Mitt Romney signs, which that didn't take too well. So they all put stickers on the back of their Ron Paul signs or on clipboards and held that in front of the Romney signs. Um, but so that just tells you that um, this is all a game. Now, this is my me and him discussed this and we we actually got a lot of attention at the airport. We were loud and obnoxious, and I'm glad. And we, we discussed if only 1% of America stopped complying in using these Federal Reserve notes and just stayed home for a day, it might get a little attention. Or if you were going to spend your Federal Reserve notes, go to a co-op or someplace. Buy your gas a day in advance. We need to take a day of, of protest with our Federal Reserve notes or, you know. And then if we could get 5% of Americans to do it, they would raise eyebrows. And imagine 10%, I mean, 10% of Americans, like every Wednesday, just not participating in the Federal Reserve System, period. No way, I mean, unless you had to, you're a doctor, this, that. Just don't purchase anything with Federal Reserve notes. Um, keep money out of your bank. I mean, we were talking about all kind of bartering and stuff and trying to change this, the system at a grassroots level. And, I, and I'm, I'm all for that because this just playing along in the system is just giving them more reason for to keep the system going. So I'm, I'm going to go a different route. A lot of them are going to go, Ron Paul supporters are going to Gary Johnson. I'm not. I don't like Gary Johnson. I've listened to him. Um, Rand Paul completely got up there at the Tampa convention and endorsed Romney. I, he's a neocon. He, he's in it for political gain. Ron Paul, um, I really liked him. He was a statement, statesman. I like Ralph Nader, too. I wish he would step in and do something seriously. Um, however, um, I'm going to be the non-compliant, and I don't know if I'll ever fly again. I'm going to, I'm going to turn this um, TSA in this time. I am sick. I, I, uh, I don't know. I caught something on the plane when I was going to see my daughter or uh, it was ragweed or whatever, but, um, I'm going to get well. I'm going to file a complaint against the TSA. I'm not doing this anymore. And I'm also going to let the airlines I fly know that I'm not flying anymore. So they just lost a customer due to the TSA. You know, if we start doing that, voicing our stuff instead of just falling along like sheep it was it was really sad i mean i felt like they were going to use prods next to say hurry up um uh. so i mean it's just it's not funny it's 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 actually if you stood back and looked at it it, it, it is sad because americans do look like sheep or cattle we we just obediently go along and those ones like me or someone else the ron paul supporter who don't go along 
I mean, we're, we're kind of targeted really bad, and I'm going to continue to be targeted. I'm tired of it. But anyway, I wanted to let everybody know I'm home safe. I'm in my bed. I've took all my little natural remedies. I'm going to get well. And um, I wanted to say peace. And um, if you're going to fly, man, have a plan of action and don't back down. Just don't back down. Do what you have to do and make it make a scene out of it. Anyway, peace, everybody. You can turn it off now. <laughs>